Hello from the Bureau with an update on major flooding along the north tropical coast of Queensland following four straight days of heavy rain. This flood situation has seen communities isolated, schools closed and highways cut, with overall flood impacts comparable to the February 2009 flood event. Let's go straight to the current warnings. There's a record major flood on the Murray River at Murray Flats, expected to peak possibly around 9 metres during Friday afternoon. Levels on the Tully River at Urimo are forecast close to the major flood level during Friday afternoon too, and the major focus today remains on the Herbert River. The flood peak is currently around the pump station and major flood levels are around 14.7 metres. A major flood peak, similar to the February 2009 floods, is expected at Ingham during Friday afternoon. There's also a host of minor to major flood warnings for other river systems along the coastal stretch. Over the past 24 hours, the rain has continued to stream onto the north tropical coast of Queensland for the fourth day running. This persistent line of rain and thunderstorms is being maintained by a convergence of the winds offshore over the Coral Sea. What makes the rain even more intense in this part of the world are the mountains that sit very close to the coast. When that moist airflow comes onshore, it hits the ranges and can only go in one direction, it has to go up. And this generates even more cloud and intensifies the rainfall. The highest rainfall in the 24 hours to 9 a.m. Friday was 409 millimetres at Karama Range. But over the past four days, we've seen 853 millimetres at Bolgan Creek, with widespread totals in the range of several hundred millimetres. 638 millimetres fell at Tully Sugar Mill, 412 millimetres at Innisfail Airport, and 322 at Cairns Racecourse. What's unique this time around too is that very heavy rain extended further inland from the coast than we'd normally see in this situation, which means stronger flood peaks in through the upper reaches of many river systems. Although showers will continue along the coast into early next week, the heavy rain should gradually clear south of about Cairns by the end of Friday night, but this doesn't mean that the flood threat is over yet, as flood peaks gradually progress downstream through river systems towards the coast. Turning our attention briefly back towards the Gulf of Carpentaria now, where we're watching the monsoon strengthen over the Gulf. The monsoon trough will gradually move into the northern Gulf over the weekend by Sunday, but compared to earlier in the week, any significant development of this low along the monsoon trough now looks to be pushed back a little into early next week. Conditions in the atmosphere do still look favourable for the potential development of a tropical cyclone next week, but for the next three days at least, the risk of cyclone formation remains low. So as always, stay tuned to the latest official forecasts and warnings on our website and app. Join us on Twitter for updates direct from the Bureau's weather and flood teams and follow all advice from emergency services.